if you are an intermediate javascript developer and don't know anything about scope and hoisting this is the right video now if you tell me what i am talking about is out of scope and you want me to shut up then i will recommend to stop this video download wechat and tell some random people whatsapp in javascript there are two kinds of scope the first one is global scope and second one is local scope don't worry you don't have to understand anything about it but if you been to high school any time in your entire life you must have seen something like this this is called globe and you must know this guy in the corner he is jackie chan it doesn't matter which part of the world you live you must know jackie chan similarly it doesn't matter where you live you must celebrate new year so it doesn't matter where you live and where you are right now you must know these global stars and you must celebrate global events like new year if we open up the console and declare any variable and we can give it any name like jackie chan and assign some value for example 100 then jackie chan becomes a global variable and we can have any function and we can give any name like do something and inside this we can do anything right now we want to console log value of jackie chan in that case if we execute this function do something and we will get the value of jackie chan and definitely you can get the value of jackie chan outside here because jackie chan is a global star a global variable in this video we will represent global scope by this purple box and you have global variables and global functions definitely you can access these global variables and global functions from anywhere in your application now we will change the gear and look into the global map again and you can see a red box here inside it has the map of the united states and if you are living in the united states you might know this person kim kardashians she somehow can generate news and if you live inside the united states you might have heard about her so she is a local star people outside of the world will not know about her similarly american football if you live inside the usa you will know about american football hence local star and local events are only known to the people who live inside the area people outside of the world will not know about them javascript works exactly same way local variable and local functions are only accessible inside the scope you cannot access them outside of the scope let's go to the console again and if i declare a function and its name could be my function and inside it i will declare a variable called kardashian and the value of kardashian would be 69 and definitely i can use it by console log kardashian and if i execute my function then i will get the value 69 but if i want to use kardashian outside i will get a reference error that kardashian is not defined so whatever the variable i declare inside a function that becomes a local variable and could only be used inside that scope now i could have a function inside a function for example i have another function here and name of it is another function inside that function i could have another variable i will give it a name as kane and the value is 200 and i can do console log and what i will log kane plus kardashian and i can execute this another function here and if i execute my function right now what i will get i will get 269 and 200 is contributed by kane and kardashian contributed 69 but if i want to execute another func here 
I will get a reference error. So whatever the function or variable is declared inside a function, you can only use them inside the function because they are local variable and they have access only to the local scope. If we summarize what we have learned so far, whenever you declare a variable outside of a function, it becomes a global variable like Justin Bieber, it has a value 200. You can access it from anywhere in your application. And if you have a function and you can give a name like pop tarts inside this function, you could have a variable called Miley and you give some value 220. Now, if you want to console log, you can do like Justin Bieber plus Miley. Remember, Justin doesn't exist here. It's a global variable, but you can access a global variable and Miley is a local variable because it is declared inside this function. So if we execute pop tarts, and you will get total value of 420. If we look into this in a picture, you will see that local scope is marked as a circle and you can have access to the local variable which inside this function. And if you want to have value of a global variable, you have to walk through this chain and get the global variable from here because global variable is outside of your scope and this chain is called scope chain. It is okay if you go and access global variable once or twice, but if you want to access the same global variable for thousands of times, then you have to work thousands time outside of your scope and get the value. If you are accessing the same value thousands of time, it is recommended to save the values in the local scope so that you don't have to walk outside for thousands of times. Now, if you have like multiple functions and every single function will have a chain towards the global scope. In that way, whatever is your function, you can walk through and get the value of any global variables and you will only get access to the local scope variable inside that scope. So any variable in local scope two, you cannot access it outside or you cannot access it from local scope one. Let's talk about wasting. Wasting actually a mechanical terminology in the factories, they use pulley and hook like this to raise stuff to the ceiling. And the reason they do it so that they can see those stuff from anywhere in the factory. You might have done similar stuff in the winter when you raise your bike to the ceiling and you can see the bike from anywhere in the room. And now let's have a look into the console. If I have a function foo and inside this function, I have a variable b is equals to seven. And if I return the value of b, before I declare the variable B, most of the programming language will complain, but JavaScript will not because JavaScript is generous. It will return undefined. There is some wasting happening here. If you look into this variable declaration, it actually has two part. First part is variable declaration bar B and second part is assignment of the value B is equals to seven. What JavaScript does, it took this variable declaration on top of the function. This means it wastes the variable declaration bar v and it keeps the assignment of the value in the current position it is. So it will look like this. And another important point, when you have a variable declaration but no value assigned to it, the default value is undefined. So Whenever you execute this foo, it will come here. It will see the variable B, but since you don't have any value, the default value is undefined. And in the second line, it returned the value of B, which is currently undefined. That's why it will not throw any exception. It will get undefined. Now, if you have a function inside a function, for example, I have a function declaration and its name is bar. Inside the bar, I am console logging 
the variable b and if i execute this verb function before i declare this function javascript will not throw any exception if i execute the foo function it will return 7 the wasting also plays a role here whenever you have a function declaration like this it will waste the whole function on top of the function so it will take out this and it will put on top of the function in that case if you execute the function var anywhere inside this scope it will not throw any exception if you have function expression like a variable like my func and you have something function inside this you also do console log if you look very carefully this looks like a variable declaration you have a variable and you are assigning some values javascript will take this part on top and so it will look something like this bar my func but it will remain the assignment of the values here so for function expression only the variable part will be wasted but for function declaration the complete function would be wasted let's do a quick summary of the things we have learned today if you have a variable like jerry kitchen it becomes a global variable and you can access it from anywhere in your application if you have a function like do something that's also a global function and you can use it from anywhere but if you have a variable inside a function like kardashian you can only use it inside the function and if you have another function inside a function you can only use that function in its current scope you cannot use it from outside wall every time i say the word waste nobody understands what i am trying to say that's why i have written down detail about scope and waste in that jazzdude.com and you will find a link below unfortunately i have the second worst accent in the world and you can guess who is number one he is none other than mr arnold schwarzenegger